Marcel Kobe are dreaming of silverware this season, and if they're going to secure some, they'll need the red-hot Yuya Osaka to continue his MVP caliber campaign. But while the Ushi is still merely dreaming of a title, Kawasaki Frontale know exactly what it takes to win one. Toru Oniki's men haven't had the smoothest season so far, but they're back to their best and full of belief. It's a summer showdown between Kawasaki and Kobe that's sure to bring the heat. Grampus may be in the title race, but to stay in it, they'll need to exact revenge against a Kashima side that's already had their number earlier this season. Yuma Suzuki stunned Grampus at the National Stadium, and a similar performance in their upcoming battle could have the eight-time J-League Kings dreaming of a return to the AFC Champions League. Can Nagoya get it right this time, or will it be calamity at the hands of Kashima once again? After a fast start to the campaign, Sapporo are sputtering. With Takura Kaneko now in Croatia, Konza will need to turn to the likes of Thai Star Superchok to get the attack back in full flow. They'll have their hands full trying to beat Park Il Gyu though, the Sagan Shotstopper is top in the league in saves, and emblematic of a club that is never easy to beat. Muscat's men spent the summer impressing against the likes of Celtic in Man City, but now they've got their focus back on the league. A repeat is never easy for reigning champions, but Marinos are looking like definite favourites with Elber and Anderson Lopez leading the line. Gamba may not be challenging for a title themselves, but they're certainly a club nobody wants to face at the moment. Out of the drop zone and playing fearless football, Danny Poyatos has his side looking like a threat against any team, even the defending champs. Thank you.